Shalom, everyone, and welcome back to Shmooz Views, Torah Observant Judaism. I hope you had a wonderful Rosh Hashanah and an enlightening Yom Kippur. Uh, Sukkot's coming up in a few days, so I'm going to, won't be on probably until Sukkot is over, uh, back on with uh, any presentations, at least not on video. I might throw some uh, text information up uh, on our website and on our uh, Schmooze Views Locals community, uh, <clears throat> but I don't think I'm going to be putting a video up until after Sukkot is over. Uh, so this will be the last one until then. Uh, also, uh, we're going to, I'm not going to, I'm just going to tease you a bit here. We have an announcement coming up soon, uh, and I'll probably be making that announcement uh, also uh, this month after Sukkot is over. Uh, we're pretty excited here about it, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Anyway, uh, I want to talk today about uh, Devarim, also known as Deuteronomy chapter 32, which is this week's uh, Parsha, and it is known as the Song of Moses. The title of Parshat, Ha'azinu, literally means, listen, or as the opening words imply, give ear. This implies that what follows demands one's, uh, demands one's utmost attention and contemplation. What takes place in this short Parsha will be witnessed before the entire house of Israel, young, old, men, and women. Moses will address the people he has led for the past 40 years for the last time, before he dies at the ripe old age of 120. What comes from his lips is a brief sketch of the past, present, and future of the children of Israel and the nations of the world from Hashem's eternal now perspective. None of his words are meant to be accusatory, an act of finger pointing, or retribution, but a simple unfolding of the sequential, historical, and future reality that will unfold and be the experienced life of the nation of Israel over the course of its existence from its inception with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, until the time of Mashiach. In 43 short verses, Hashem sums up for His children this somewhat scary but wondrous path that will lay before them once they cross the Jordan and enter the Promised Land. The final nine verses of the Parsha relate the official passing of the torch of leadership to Joshua, son of Nun, before all the people, so none would be able to challenge His taking the reins. And Hashem calls, uh, uh, and Hashem's call to Moses to climb Mount Nebo, where he can view the land of Israel from those heights, uh, one more time before dying and being gathered to his ancestors. Now, why would Hashem relate this sketch of the past and the future to his children just prior to their entering and taking back the land? Why? Because Hashem is a good and perfect father. What good father doesn't prepare his children for all the possible pitfalls, roadblocks, and challenges that lay ahead of his child once that child embarks on his or her life's journey? A little light on that path is far better than groping in the dark like a, bl a blind person, trying to navigate by pure touch and instinct. Moses gave us the answer once he concluded his song. He says, Apply your hearts and minds to all the words that I testify against or upon you today, with which you are to instruct your children to be careful to perform all the words of this Torah, for it is not an empty thing for you, for it is your life. And through this matter shall you prolong your days on the land to which you cross the Jordan to possess it. For the first time in history, and the first time in the lives of Israel, they caught a glimpse of the omniscience of the Creator of all that is. And we too, in the reading of this week's Parsha, catch a glimpse of the omniscience of our Creator. May we take it to our hearts and minds, for it is our lives as well.
Shalom. <clears throat> so I uh, hope you have a wonderful Sukkot. And uh, I'm going to ask you to uh, hit that subscribe button uh, and also the like button and the notification bell. You can find us here on YouTube or we're also here on Rumble. Uh, the video also gets posted on our website, Shmoo's Views to Observant Judaism. The links uh, for that will be below. I would encourage you to become a member and join our Shmoo's Views uh, uh, Locals community. And if you need to send us an email, you can do so uh, at this address, shmu, it's S-H-M-U, at startmail.com. That's shmu at startmail.com. And until the next time we meet again, may God bless and keep you into, in His everlasting, everlasting arms. Baruch Hashem and Shalom to you.